subtraction of polynomials. So side note, subtraction of polynomials, very similar to the addition of polynomials, except now you just are introducing basically a negative or you're changing the sign, right? You're subtracting. So here we go, opposite of a polynomial. To find the opposite of a polynomial, take the opposite of each term. This is equivalent to multiplying the polynomial by negative one. To subtract polynomial, find the opposite of the polynomial being subtracted, combine like terms. Right, I mean you just subtract. Remember, the opposite of a positive is a negative. So if you're told to take an opposite of something, you're changing the sign. So bare bones, the opposite is AKA flip the sign. So here we go. Find the opposite of each polynomial. So 10, 3R minus 15. What did I say? Flip the signs. So you've got negative 3R plus 15. Bingo, bingo, you're done. 11, flip all of the signs. You're done. Because what you technically did is you negated or you ran a negative, a negative through the expression. So like the note says, you're multiplying a negative one through everything. So by running that negative one or the negative through the, this case, trinomial, you're just flipping all the signs. And for 10, we did the same thing we just ran a negative through this binomial. So for 12, 13, 14, 15, I'm not gonna do all of them for time. Maybe for, I'll mirror what we did for the addition, I'll just do 12 and 14. I want you to still try 13 and 15, so if you have questions, you can come talk to me, right? Also kind of gives you some wiggle room to recognize if you have questions. I know that in math, sometimes you don't know what questions you have until you start it. And also you might be at the point where you're, you're like, I don't know what I don't know. And then if you feel like that, it's really hard to get going. But that's okay if you don't know what you don't know. I'm not gonna do 13 and 15, so you can try them so it'll at least tell you what you don't know or what you do know, and that is an awesome starting point. So what we're gonna do is for 12, we have to do this first step of distributing that negative through. So we've got 6a squared minus five, minus 12a minus five. Now we're gonna combine like terms. But the only like terms are the negative five. That's totally fine, makes our life easier. So, Oop, almost forgot my equal sign. Y'all don't let me do that. We've got 6a squared minus 12a minus 10 because we're combining the two negative fives. And that's it, right? Very similar to the addition, but you just have that extra teeny tiny step of distributing the negative. So I'm gonna do that same thing with 14. I've got 1 fourth g squared plus 2 fifths g minus 3 sevenths minus 3 fourths g squared plus 1 fifth g plus 2 sevenths. So I've got a g squared and a g squared, so we're going to combine these. So 1 fourth minus 3 fourths is how many fourths? 3 so one minus three is a negative two. Negative two fourths is a negative one half. So we have a negative one half g squared. So sometimes if I'm doing it this way, I say, okay, those are taken care of. Next I've got g. So two fifths plus one fifth is how many fifths? Three fifths g. So now the G's are taken care of. Oh, that's a seven. Oh good, I was like a fourth and a seventh. I'm doing you a little dirty there, but there we go. All right, so negative three sevenths plus two sevenths is how many sevenths? 
minus one seventh. There you go. You're done. How do you feel? Hopefully you feel pretty good. And again, I am on purpose not showing every single step so that if you're one of those people who are, are like, I don't know what I don't know, this will give you an excellent idea of what you know and what you don't know. If you feel like you don't know something or there's a gap missing in your knowledge, come ask. That I mean, sometimes honestly half the battle really is recognizing what you don't know. And once you recognize, oh, I don't know that. I want to find that out. Then you know where to look for information. Myself, co-instructor, um, sometimes Google, right? There's Math Cats, there's Slack, there's, the, you know, all those tutor centers. Um, if you want to kind of, if it's like 2 a.m. or something, Khan Academy, right, is good. Um, but I recognize sometimes half the battle is not, you don't, you feel like you don't know what you don't know. Okay, 16 and 17. 16 I'm also going to leave for you to do. The only I'm going to give you a tip. Distribute this negative. Distribute this negative to this uh, polynomial. Once you do that, then just kind of recognize you've got cubes, what squares, W's and then coefficients. You're just combining like terms. I have full faith you can do this on your own. Um, just start with that hint. 17 says find the difference of this and this. What does difference mean? Subtraction. Difference means subtraction. So you have negative 2t squared plus 3t minus 4 minus negative t squared minus 4t minus 4. So same thing with 16. Dis distribute this negative to this trinomial and then combine like terms. And then you should be able to get going through there.